Howdy folks, Jabariki here. Many celebrity deaths hit us hard in 2018. One such person was actor Stefan Carl Stephenson, who sadly passed away from cancer this year. Stephenson was most famous for appearing in Lazy Town. What is Lazy Town? Lazy Town was an Icelandic children's TV show created by champion gymnast Magnus Sheving. It was designed to encourage kids to embrace fitness and sports, becoming a huge success around the world. In the show, a bubbly girl named Stephanie visits a residence called Lazy Town, where all the kids, who are portrayed by puppets, can't be bothered to play outdoor games. Stephanie calls on the help of an athletic superhero named Sportacus, played by Sheving himself, who agrees to make sure that these children become more active. But it won't be easy because there's a super lazy villain called Robbie Rotten, played by Stefan Carl Stephenson, who wants Lazy Town to be just as lazy as him. I was a teenager when Lazy Town first started airing on TV, so I wasn't the target audience, but it was the only thing worth watching in the morning before going to school. Rewatching Lazy Town as an adult, I actually appreciate the series much more now. I think that the concept is fantastically well-meaning, the visuals are vibrantly colourful, the live-action actors all put their heart into their characters, plus the puppets have an elastic flexibility thanks to their rubbery texture giving subtle touches to their movement and expressions that you wouldn't see from a felt, wooden or plastic puppet. Not to mention, each puppet has a vivid, bold design that makes their personalities instantly recognisable. For this episode of Puppet Panic, I would like to pay tribute to Stephenson by talking about two Christmas special episodes of Lazy Town. Starting with Lazy Town Surprise Santa. This episode is set during Christmas, with the Lazy Town residents getting ready for the big day. Robbie Rotten overhears that the Lazy Towners are going to be receiving presents for Christmas, so he decides to steal them all and ruin everyone's festive day. First, he times a cannon to shoot a giant snowball at 6pm, aiming it at where Sporticus will be sitting for Christmas dinner. Then, he disguises himself as Santa, sneaks into the Christmas party while everyone is out, and starts thieving everyone's gifts, only to learn that there's a present for him, so he has a change of heart, choosing to stay for the Christmas party, eager to see what gift he has been given. However, he forgets that his cannon is timed to shoot Sporticus at 6pm, so he alerts everyone, and luckily Sporticus saves the day. Finally, it's present opening time, but Robbie is disappointed to learn that all he got was a pair of socks. The episode doesn't really have a central theme. It has lessons peppered throughout the story, like being patient at Christmas and not stealing other people's gifts, but there's no overarching message. This doesn't make the episode bad or anything, it's just something that I noticed. Not every Lazy Town episode needs to teach something. Sometimes it can just be a little bit of fun, and that's the case for this episode. The episode has a nice Christmassy atmosphere, reflecting the excitement and warmth of this time of the year, I'll admit that I felt a bit fuzzy watching everyone simply getting ready for the season. It's simple, but nice. It's also great to see that Sporticus never switches off his hero mode. He's always alert for people in danger. He never rests as a superhero, but he still has time to enjoy the holidays, from building a snowman with Stephanie to joining the Christmas dinner as a guest. As always though, it's Robbie's antics that steal the show. Watching him trying to pull off his Santa act is very funny, because we know that he has evil deeds to commit, but he's having to make time for the Lazy Town kids too, and he can't blow them off or his stunt will be exposed. It's Santa! 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 It's really you! Oh, you me! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes, here we go! Have some candy! And yeah, go home! Go home! Candy? Uh, I don't think I should. Should? Of course you should have candy here! Here, uh -huh. oh, Take it off! I also can't help but smile when he's invited to dinner. He's clearly very moved that he's a guest, but he's also highly distracted by his desire to open the presents. Even though he's a bad guy, he's a big kid at heart, wanting to be spoiled and loved like most children. Overall, it's a good episode. Nothing special compared to most episodes besides having a Christmas setting, but it's still a fun watch that'll make kids happy. If your children liked The Grinch, I think they'll get a lot out of this episode. Now let's move on to the next Christmas special episode, which is titled The Holiday Spirit. In this episode, the residents of Lazy Town are preparing for a Christmas party, and the kids are writing their letters to Santa. They all have their own dream lists, but Stingy greedily wants to have everything that's on all his friends' lists. 
When Robbie Rotten learns that people who have been good all year get presents from Santa Claus, he realises that he's been a very naughty boy, but he really wants some special gifts from Father Christmas. So he agrees to help out with the Christmas party, and even volunteers to prepare the turkey himself. However, Robbie is his usual lazy self, as he uses a machine to stuff the turkey and goes to sleep. In the middle of the night, the stuffing machine overflows, causing the turkey to pop out of Robbie's underground lair, rocketing into the sky and interfering with Santa's flight, resulting in all the presents for Lazy Town falling out of Santa's sleigh and next to Stingy's house. Stingy wakes up thinking that Santa gave him exactly what he asked for, the same as everyone else, and spends the day playing with his new gifts, ignoring the Christmas party with his loved ones. This episode's message is a nice lesson about remembering that Christmas isn't all about getting presents. Yes, we've seen this message many times before in other Christmas specials, but I still think it's well told, and it's something that kids really need to learn. Stingy has all these amazing gifts, many of which aren't his, but he realises that they have little value when he has no company teaching kids that you can't spend Christmas Day cooped up in your room playing with your presents. That's not the holiday spirit. This is something that parents will appreciate their kids learning, because it encourages them to spend the holidays with their family, and lets them know that this special day isn't all about opening boxes. Kids love being treated, especially with something they've asked for many times, which is cute, but they can't think that that's all there is to Christmas, or they'll grow up thinking that materialism is more important than friends and family. That's where this special's lesson comes in. Eventually, Santa discovers that everyone's presents are with Stingy. Stingy tells Saint Nick that he doesn't understand why he's not happy, even though he has all these gifts. So, Santa explains that he's missing the holiday spirit, and that giving is just as important as receiving. This leads to Stingy returning everyone's presents to them. He looks much happier in the process, letting kids watching the episode see that treating others can be just as fun as getting presents yourself. Robbie spends the episode only thinking about what he wants, hence why he half asses his responsibility as the turkey cook. He is demonstrating another example of missing the holiday spirit. You can tell that a part of Robbie wants to enjoy the holiday spirit, though. Just look at his adorable delight at being invited to the Christmas party. Party. What about you, Mr. Rotten? Are you coming to the party? Yeah. Huh? Me? Well, of course. The party's for everyone in uh -huh. Lazy Town. Uh -huh. Yes, Robbie, you have to come. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I'd love to come. <gasps> Wonderful. <laughs> yes. <Good. laughs> Deep down, he's a lonely man with wishes for the perfect Christmas get-together, but his selfish laziness gets in the way of his dream. When Stingy discovers that Robbie won't be getting any presents this year because he's been very naughty, Stingy makes the kind gesture of getting everyone to come visit Robbie on Christmas Day and even gives his present to Robbie. You could argue that this makes Santa's rules redundant because Robbie is getting a gift even though he's been a naughty boy all year, but I don't think that's the point. It's all about showing the spirit of the season, letting people feel loved and giving them company on a special day, no matter who they are, which is a lovely thought that teaches forgiveness and universal kindness. Plus, even though Robbie does receive a Christmas present, he still faces the consequences of his laziness. When the turkey lands back on Earth, directly on Robbie's head, the episode finds a compromise here, saying that everyone deserves a nice Christmas, but bad people can't escape their comeuppances, even in the festive season. Lazy Town's version of Santa is wonderful as well. He's jolly, friendly, and caring, with lots of Christmas spirit to spread around. But at the same time, the show gives him a human touch, showing him disappointed in himself after losing everyone's presents. When the sleigh crashed to the ground, I, I lost all the presents. Oh. I am a complete failure. <laughs> Even Santa can be self-conscious of his failures. I love that. It's a Father Christmas that we can relate to, teaching kids to empathize with Santa's tough job and giving parents someone to identify with. I also loved seeing Santa getting jiggy with it during a Christmassy musical number. That may be the best part of the episode. <laughs> To be honest, this was my favourite episode of the two. Not that Lazy Town surprised Santa was bad or anything, I just felt like this episode took the formula of the last Christmas special and did something more with it. It has something meaningful to directly say, with a more concentrated focus on a lesson of generosity. Plus, Santa makes for a really charming guest character. 
So, those are my thoughts on the Christmas special episodes of Lazy Town. What do you think of Lazy Town? Let me know in the comment section below. Before I go, I'd like to explain why I think that Stefan Carl Stephenson is so amazing as Robbie Rotten. Stefan Carl Stephenson embodied Robbie Rotten with so much passion, giving the antagonist a lot of rubbery expression and wacky energy, like he was bringing a cartoon bad guy to the live action screen. No matter what was called for, he would always add a little special detail to a scene. He was intentionally over the top, but knew that the character needed some level of restraint to make him believable, adding little pauses to his movement to show that Robbie had a thought process. He remained a serious and respectable actor, even even though he was playing a silly children's show villain. He may have been in the role of the bad guy, but he still inspired kids, demonstrating the traits of the kind of toxic person that children shouldn't grow up to be, while being entertainingly fun at the same time. Stephenson may be gone, but he will live on in the hearts of those who grew up with Lazy Town, and be forever immortalised in the memes that celebrated his character's charm. Goodbye Mr Rotten, and thank you. Cheerio folks, and happy holidays. Boy, my head been right all the time.